Hi everyone, good morning. It's Margaret Manning here and welcome to 60 and Me. Welcome to a brand new day. Hope you're doing great. Um, I am up early this morning and having my now my second cup of tea. Um, I actually, I was telling you the other day that I had gone um, to Slovenia a few weekends ago for a trip, a weekend uh, trip. And one of the great things about travel for me is you often find things that you've been looking for in your own hometown much cheaper than you would have got them here. So um, one of my adventures, of course, is tea. I love a new tea every day. And uh, so I looked around in this beautiful little tea shop and asked them if they had a Sam tea. Uh, a Sam, turn it around. And a Sam is a tea that comes from India, the Assam region. It's very dark, it's very special, and it's, it can be quite expensive. And there's a range of Assam teas that you can buy. It's a dark tea, you can, wear, you can uh, drink it with milk, but I like it just by itself, nice and black. So this is my um, Assam tea. And it was so fun to get a little bargain uh, for something. I got quite a bit there for like four francs. It was really cool. But um, it was one of those places that you could uh, get a certain amount and you know, pick and choose. It's really fun. So. Uh, that was uh, just my little little um, trip to, to Slovenia that was such a good time and, and I picked up all kinds of little treasures but um, I ran out of space in my bag <laughs> which actually is what I wanted to chat with you about today. Handbags. We all have them or at least most women have them and they're all full of stuff and at the end of our um, chat today I'm going to do something that I've never done before on our videos in the morning so you just have to stay tuned and watch as um, I do a reveal. Anyway it's going to be fun but um, the thing is uh, Karen Kingston is one of our bloggers and she is an expert in downsizing and um, she uh, wrote an article about downsizing with your home but also downsizing your handbag and uh, you know just <laughs> I think she makes the point that the first handbag that was ever sort of documented was found on um, a, a Neolithic man who lived about uh, 5,000 years ago. His name was um, Otzi the Iceman, Otzi. And Otzi had a little bag around his waist and in there he had um, some tools and some dried fungus and um, some healing herbs. And they discovered all of this when they found his frozen mummy um, in the ice in Iceland. Super hot today, guys. I've got my little uh, brush here <laughs> to keep me cool. <laughs> so um, anyway, uh, Oz, um, Ozzy the Iceman was the first person to ever be documented having a handbag. And of course, when men and women throughout the ages now have used little pouches and bags to carry their personal items and it's all kind of part of our, our, our style. And handbags actually can be very much a demonstration of our, of our personal style. And of course, we have in our bag, what's the typical things? Of course, we have our, our cell phone and our keys and our purse. Very few people will go out without those and maybe, you know, oh, I don't know, a tissue or, um, you know, your, your credit cards, of course, and, and, and receipts maybe. You've got, um, oh, I don't know, tweezers, nail file. I'm looking at the list of deodorant, lip balm, jewelry. Have you got hand sanitizer? Um, did I mention floss? <laughs> Sewing kit? Maybe you've got some food. Uh, perhaps you've got a bottle of water. Uh, you've got your an extra charger for your phone. Do you have tissues? Um, water bottle, I've said. What else? Um, flashlight? USB drive? Um, headphones? Mints? <laughs> Munchies of all kinds? Umbrella? A mirror? What else could you have? Anyway, in the article, there's tons of things that people have in their handbags. And do you guys remember that show? Um, I forget what it was called. Like It wasn't like What's in Your Bag, but it was um, a, a game show where the, uh, the man leading the show would say, who's got a pair of tweezers in their bag? And the first person to come up to, to the front with their uh, tweezers in, uh, in their hands would win a prize. But sometimes I feel like my bag is a bit like that. Maybe yours is too. But you know, basically there's this whole um, phenomenon of filling the, the, your handbag to the brim. So Karen has some ideas and I think they're all good ones if you're interested in doing a clean out. So first, have a clear out. Turn everything out and then put it all back in again and just start from scratch, one item at a time. Really good idea. The other thing is first then to create a space for you to put the things that you always and often need as you go out. I do this, I have a bowl 
And in that I put things that I may not need today, but I might need on a rainy day. So, you know, an umbrella. I'll just keep that right there. Um, makeup. I mean, sometimes I'm going somewhere where I'll be gone for a long time and I might want to take a little bit of, you know, extra makeup. But I don't need that every day. So anyway, I put, put things by the front door, there's a, a bowl, where as you go out, you can just grab that thing that you need. Not every day, but today. So I think that's kind of a cool idea. Have a, have a space for frequently used items and keep it by the door so you're not panicking. Um, I wouldn't keep your passport or anything like that, um, just anything valuable because, you know, bowls get full of stuff and <laughs> you forget where you put things. But that's a good idea. Another thing is to is obviously every now and again open your bag and shake out all the rubbish. It becomes like a little receptacle for tissues and receipts and stuff. And so I think it's a really cool um, idea to just every now and again and get a little vacuum or a little brush, tip it out, brush it all, let all the dust out and give it a good shake. So that's another thing you can do. Coins. I don't know, there's no, there doesn't seem to be a culture or a country in the world where they've got coins that are totally uh, unusable. I mean, not that they're not valuable, every single penny is valuable, but you know, that like a, in Switzerland we have a five cent piece. I don't think you can buy anything for five cent, but they just, they just it, it, when you're standing in line, you don't want to count out like 50 cents in you know, 10 little coins. Anyway, so coins. Really um, a nice ritual maybe to at the end of a day, just tip out your bag and put all the coins in a money box and then take them now and again or go buy yourself something special with that $3 that you've saved over a year <laughs> of small coins. Really, I think that's a nice idea too. Keys, only carry the ones you need and you don't need like every key to your storage unit and everything else, just your house key and maybe the key to your car, of course, if you have a car. Receipts. Place the receipts in a little envelope or a little plastic container and put and just keep them in one place. A lot of people have a habit of putting them in their wallets and of course then your, your little wallet just grows and grows and grows. So that's important. Uh, of course you've got um, credit cards and those are pretty important <laughs> uh, if you're going to do some shopping or just you know you want a debit card and a credit card and that's pretty much it. You just need two, two cards and maybe even one. And a lot of cards now are, what do you call it, like a, a flash card where you can, you know, you can pay with a credit card instantly. I forget what they call them in the States, but they're like an instant payment card. So you don't have to even put your pin number in it, just actually, so that's a, like a really cool convenience. All right, what's up, what else is in your bag? Food. Food, um, I, I very rarely put food in my, my handbag because I have a, quite a small handbag, but I do carry sometimes like a shoulder bag, uh, like two bags, <laughs> like my handbag and then a, like a, a grocery bag. And in that, I might put my umbrella or my food or you know something that's bigger, a water bottle, something like that. But that's the secret there, of course, is to only take out the item, take, put in the items that are seasonal. Like you don't need a scarf in the summer um, and you know, you get it. You know what I'm talking about. So that's another thing. Just carry things that are, you know, only seasonal and, and um, not, not taking up space when it's not needed. I mean, maybe you do want a scarf in the summer, I don't know. But if you do, um, just be aware that really in your bag, just put stuff that's, that's needed that moment. I think we just, I don't know what it is. Maybe you can, you can help me understand this. You know, why we put so much in our handbags. Why we have huge bags that we just put, you know, notebooks and, I don't know, books and all kinds in one little handbag, as opposed to having a separate bag for occasional um, needs, for depending on the trip. Makeup. Makeup is uh, one, as I mentioned before. I do have a little um, a container with like, um, uh, sample size makeup so I have a little bit just to put on blush or some makeup some foundation I also carry sometimes those little um, samples you get you know but just enough a lipstick I hardly ever carry mascara or anything like that but um, just make sure that you have just really one of everything like one lipstick is probably enough for everyday uh, bag carrying jewelry uh, do you carry jewelry in your handbag I don't, um, unless I'm going like on a place where I, in the middle of the day I might change, like I might go out to dinner, I might put a pearl necklace or something, you know, just in the bag to have it with me. But very, very rarely uh, do I carry jewelry or any accessory in, in my bag. 
notebook. Um, yeah, notebooks, um, I, I do carry one, uh, but not a, not a big one. Uh, do you carry a, something to write on? That's another thing that a lot of people pop in their handbags, for sure. And a Karen, of course, reminds us about multiples. And that gets back to the lipstick, you know, just need one of everything. And then things you never use. You know, if you open your bag and you realize, I have not used that thing for, you know, three months or a year, let's put it away somewhere. You know, it's all, it's all good. So anyway, I hope that's been interesting. I mean, I'm giving you permission to do a big clean out of your bag and um, I'm gonna do the same here. Okay, so I am gonna tell you what's in my bag and I promise you, hand on heart, I haven't looked at this bag this morning so I've taken out nothing <laughs> that I don't want you to see because I just, uh, anyway, so there's my bag. You can see it's, it's, um, it's small. It's just like a little shoulder bag. It's got a really cool little pouch at the front for my, per for my phone and at the back a little zipper section where I put my keys but let's see what's in there okay so I'm going to take one thing out at a time now this is a pretty chubby little bag see how I mean it's not meant to be that chubby <laughs> but um you'll see what I put in here a lot of stuff and I just wonder what you do too so first of all okay I have a little purse this is where I keep my credit cards and my bills like you know my um, 10, 10 franc note, the, the, the paper bills. So that's my little zippered uh, money purse. I have a little purse that's got coins in it. I have a little um, uh, sort of thing that go there my, my um, little ID and my bus pass goes. That's tiny. So far, so good. I then carry this, which is an interesting little thing. It's a charger for my phone. For, it's the best thing I've ever purchased. It's a little, really slim. Charge it in your, in your computer and then you put the other half in your phone. That I use all the time. That is so handy. What else have I got in here? I have a pen. I have, um, <laughs> I don't know why I have this in here. I have some uh, washi tape. Well, they say they keep like, um, uh, what do they call that tape that's really strong, uh, masking tape or something. I don't know why I have this in here. It's just there. I have a, uh, a ticket from the train yesterday. <laughs> I have a little chocolate that I often have with my coffee, tiny chocolate. And I have, oh, another pen, and I have a rubber band. These I use when I travel. I don't know how it's ended up in my bag, but you know, for just for keeping things together, I always keep a, I don't always, but there's a rubber band there. What else? I have a comb, and I have, I'm, I don't want to show you the bag because it will just take up the whole screen, and I have another thing of chocolate, as you can tell. But you know, when you sit down for a chocolate and they don't give you a chocolate to have with your coffee, this is perfect. <laughs> So that's that's the other thing I have in there. What else? Um, I have a little bag with some um, uh, allergy medicines and things, which I always have to carry with me. I have another comb, multiples. I don't need two combs. I can put that away. And what is this? Oh, I have lipstick. I have a lipstick. Do have a lipstick? Oh, yeah. This is funny. And I also have a plastic bag. I always keep a little um, uh, plastic bag with a you know, sealed top so that if I, um, oh, I don't know, if I want to take uh, some food home that I don't eat at the restaurant or uh, I need to put something that's wet, I just keep a little plastic bag. Okay, that's everything in that part of the bag. And then in the other section, I have a, a Kleenex, or as a tissue. I have a sample of makeup, which I was telling you about I do earlier. <laughs> this is left over from my Slovenia trip. I have a tea bag. Don't know why I have that in there. And another example of makeup. <laughs> another chocolate. <laughs> oh gosh, I've got three chocolates. And what else have I got? A coin. Uh, this must be a, it's probably a, a euro or some other uh, currency that I can't use right now. So that's it. That's my handbag, empty completely. And that is everything in there. And of course my phone um, is always, always with me. And oh here, what's this? Lip liner. So I do carry a little teeny bit of makeup with me. Lip liner and a, a lip uh, brush on the other end. So that's it in my handbag. That was fun. I hope you didn't mind going through all that with me. I think it's just kind of fun to see what um, people put into their handbags. And I'd love to know what you put in yours. Maybe just a few highlights of things that you will never go out of the house without in your bag. That would be really fun to, to share.
Anyway, I hope that's been fun. It's kind of a little trivial conversation, but sometimes it's fun just to talk about nothing of really earth shattering significance, but just what's kind of fun and important to us. And, um, oh, I don't know, Karen also left a note. She said um, something about if you want to know what's in the male equivalent of a handbag, you can go whatsinyourbag.com. I had never been there, but um, if you're interested. Anyway, everybody, I hope that's been a fun conversation, that you've had fun uh, thinking about what is in your bag. Now go tip it all out and do a good clean and uh, leave a comment about what you've got in your handbag and uh, we'll have a good conversation. Have a fabulous day, everyone. Wherever you go with your handbag today, um, just take good care. Have a, have a really good day and I'll see you all back here again very soon. Take good care. Bye-bye.